Hey gems, I hope you guys are all doing well. Welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm gonna be doing an inventory haul. So I spent, I spent, I spent over 1K. <laughs> on inventory <laughs> my eyes but god is good we're gonna make it back and tenfold in the name of jesus i claim it and i receive it so i have stuff everywhere now i'm not gonna hold everything out i'm gonna kind of overlay clips as well just to make my life easier because the place that i'm in is very small so i'll show you the essentials and then i'm also going to explain some other stuff i bought and overlay clips as well before we get started make sure you are following my business instagram page share makeup with free underscores for your go-to makeup product i also have a podcast called the dose of face so check that out as well let's get straight into it first I'm gonna start off with lip gloss base. Boom! I've already used one of them that I bought. I feel like I bought two in total. I bought two of these. I've already used one. Um, I don't know how many pounds is this. So this is the 3.5, and I'm gonna have the prices on the screen. Buying lip gloss base, and you're from the UK, it does add up because you have to pay for shipping on top of the base and then you have to pay for custom fees but yeah bought some lip gloss base because i was in need of some and um yeah i just love how fresh lip gloss base looks like guys so lovely like i love it oh so the next thing i got was a bunch of tubes lip gloss tubes don't want to show the front because it has my address um but yeah i've already used so much of it i'm not going to lie to you but um i got some really cute tubes i got these like pink sparkle ones um i'm not gonna lie i saw made by rej had it and when i was just asking my vendor for like different tubes that was available <laughs> he said he had these <laughs> and i was like i want me mine so i got a few of these and i actually love them they're too cute like guys I cannot. How can you give me sparkly pink lip gloss tubes? Like, yes, I am the princess. Yes, they are my princess tubes. Yes, ma'am. So I got these. Um, I also got my OG lip gloss tubes. Which I'm going to show you guys. Um, so I got these. I got this relatively when my business was pretty new. Um, I don't know if I like them as much. Like, I bought a lot of these. And I don't know how I'm going to use these. I, I might sell them because... I don't know I'm just not really feeling them so like now because I have so many different lip gloss tube options these just they don't give me that same excitement so I might sell them I don't know and I bought like over a hundred of these tubes um, because they're like now my favorite they're just so beautiful I'm gonna show you guys now ah. so I bought these very clear um, tubes they just kind of remind me of this like crystal clear like just bougie tubes like yes ma'am i'll take a hundred and i did these are now one of my like main lip gloss tubes because i fill these up with my rose blossom lip gloss which is one of my best sellers and also clear eyes again one of my best sellers so i fill them up in these and they always do so well um and i got my squeeze tubes so if you guys didn't know I started off with these as well these are 15 milliliter squeeze tubes so they're very long and they hold so much product and it just looks so cute bought a bunch of those basically i'll insert a clip i also bought these pink baby pink eight milliliter tubes but i've now filled them up with gloss so i can't show you guys but they are so cute and i'm definitely gonna buy some more and i might wholesale them as well in total it cost me like 300 is it 300 yeah, I would probably say it cost me about 320 for everything because I had to pay customs on top of shipping. Shipping alone was like over $100. That killed my chest. But yeah, those types of products, they're investments into your business. So I don't feel the type of way it's fine. So the next thing I bought was a bunch of lashes. I bought bulk lashes, which cost me over £250. It's in the haul. I'm not bringing them here, but I'm going to overlay a clip. So I bought different lashes, different styles in big boxes. And yeah, like 
I'm not gonna lie, I don't think I'm gonna buy lashes again because I feel like lashes don't do as well. I don't know, people just, they not feeling them as much as they're feeling my lip glosses. So I'm gonna really take my time and invest in my lip gloss tubes and like my lip glosses and just create an innovative lip glosses. So yeah, what that, they look good and i've got i've actually got a pair of these lashes on so these are called prada bay and they're on my website as well so go check them out they are under 25 mm so they're quite short but they still look amazing i'm gonna try i need to advertise my lashes because i need to get them sold they're just sitting in my haul they need to get sold okay and the next thing i got again i will overlay clips but i bought custom boxes customized eyelash boxes and that was an l guys absolute l i wasted my damn money i thought okay let me get professional let me get my brand on some boxes it doesn't work i could have used that money to get customized boxes for my lip glosses but now i have to wait so yeah i bought customized eyelash boxes thinking that they would bang they did bang they do look nice but they're not selling so that it's just an l it doesn't matter whether i like them it matters whether my customer likes them and they're not really digging them right now but mark my words i'm getting every single one of them sold period so i'll find ways yeah i bought a bunch of those and that in total cost me 200 pounds as well it was not cheap so i also got a bunch of poly mailers so these are from amazon and they're very very cute i thought i would go for like a pink purple theme for these poly mailers just because they look cute i don't know um it doesn't match my theme very well but again I feel like when people see this, it's kind of like this feel-good, vibrant vibe because it's pink slash purple. Like, who wouldn't feel good with this colour? If you don't, girl, I don't know what's wrong with you because this is cute. So I got a bunch of those and there's more in the haul and I got them in A4 sizes. So for anyone who does big orders or if there's wholesale orders, I will put the products in the big A4 envelopes as well. So I got some small poly mailers as well. These are CD size. Um, and they are in this holographic vibe again they're from Amazon pretty small but cute and these are for like the small orders so orders that are just like one or two products that can fit in here I'll put it in here so got a bunch of those super cute I also got this isn't really a high priced item but I'm gonna share with you guys these fragile stickers because at this point I need to put a fragile sticker on every single order because these delivery men don't respect me they don't fragile stickers are so important if you have liquid based products or glass based products or anything that's just fragile because it warns the delivery men hey I know you're working hard I know you've got a long day but please do not damage these products because if you damage these products I'm finished so yeah I bought I think these there's 500 of these fragile stickers in total in this tub, but I could be wrong, I don't know. Amazon, I 100% recommend. They have to treat these delivery men like they are enemies at this point. Be damaging my parcels. I be thinking, boy, you gonna pay for that? Are you gonna pay for that? Cause I don't know. So in total for the poly mailers, I probably spent about 70 pounds and I'm already running out of so many of them. I know I need to get a new bulk, but eventually i am gonna go for alibaba poly mailers because this is just too much money Ugh. so i have a funny story with this box the next bunch of stuff is basically like containers and stuff but what happened was the company they're called the yoga soap and candle they basically sent um when i paid for my items i spent like over 250 dollars so maybe about 200 pounds or maybe 190 i don't know receipts will be on the screen but i spent a lot of money on this order and i asked for usb no ups shipping so i asked for ups shipping and they basically didn't do ups shipping they did this um canada shipping which takes over between one to two months and I obviously pay for ups which takes like two weeks or one week so i obviously emailed them and was like hey like you guys use the wrong shipping and i obviously paid more money and y'all fulfilling it with a different courier like what's going on and the woman was like oh it should be fine don't worry like um we're sorry about this but we'll, we'll keep an eye on it next day the woman then messaged me and said girl we gonna need to send you another package because it's gonna take a month or two so i was like okay well, you gonna send that for free right because i ain't paying for that <laughs> so they sent me another one so i ended up getting two 
two bolts of product. Crazy story, but it worked out in my favor because I basically got two for one. God is good. I think it's like two ounces, two ounce containers, which I'm gonna be wholesaling because I don't need all of this. So if you want two ounce containers for whatever you're doing, whether you wanna make lip scrubs, whether you wanna make moisturizers, body moisturizers, sheer makeup, wholesale set. If you go on my website, sharemakeup.co.uk, and you go on wholesale products, once I've launched it and once I've put it on there, you can purchase a pack of these and it's gonna come in these white lids. I wanted to make moisturizers with these containers, however, I did realize they're too small. Like, this is tiny. So I might use some of them for like lip scrub or so. Yeah, I bought those and they also gave me these small containers, which I think is like 0 0.25 ounces. So these, I use them for lip scrubs because they're super cute. How cute, baby pink. Yes, ma'am. Yes, boo. Let me know if you guys want wholesale of these. Oh, I might put sample lip glosses in here for people who want to sample my lip glosses. And then there's more containers here. I bought a lot of containers basically because I really wanted to test out and, and experiment with my brand and business and see what I could do. Well, it didn't really pay off anyway, so waste of money. But we move. That's how we, we grow and we learn. So I also had bought a sheer butter body cream, which again I wanted to use in order to create my um, moisturizers and stuff, but I'm not using that anymore. I'm going to be using all organic products. So I'll probably just use this for my own damn body because at this point, I don't know what I'm going to use this for. I might sell it. I don't know. I really don't know. <laughs> Lastly, I bought a fragrance oil from them. I already have one, now I have two, which is a vanilla cupcake scent. And I have actually used that one and it stinks. I don't like the smell of it at all. I feel like it's too strong and too overbearing. But we bought it, so we have to use it. <laughs> Just looks like this. Um yeah another bunch of stuff i got was lip oil tubes they are glass and the quantity i bought was about 50 and all together cost me i want to say 43 pounds plus shipping it cost me about 50 pounds and they're just basically glass lip oil tubes and it's got like a white cover so it looks super cute guys literally that is it for the inventory haul i want to do a full calculation hopefully i've put receipts of like Girl, you're going to have to edit this and take your time because I want you to put receipts in here. But yeah, hopefully I've put in receipts of how much I've spent on each product and the total will be right here, but it was definitely more than 1K. So as you can see, it was a hefty amount. Obviously, I don't spend all of that all the time, but just because the brand is growing, I know I need to invest in more stuff. So yeah thank you so much guys for watching if you're new make sure you subscribe down below give this video a thumbs up yeah i will see you in my next video bye